Scrolling through TikTok, you may come across a video like this. Some would consider it weird, others may find it mildly amusing, and most will move on with a flick of their thumb. But what you just witnessed is your introduction to trash streaming, and it's going to get a whole lot darker. The concept of trash streaming is simple enough. Invite some friends over for a drink, fire up your stream, and start performing dares for donations. Right now you're probably envisioning stunts similar to those of Jackass, and to be fair, some of them are just that. It's strange, but it's not any worse than something you've done on a night out, or to make your friends laugh. But it's videos like this one, the one I'm about to show you, that only serve as a way to humiliate and demean their participant. Now many might say these people are willing participants in these streams and are financially compensated for their actions. While in some cases it may be technically true, it's not without leverage or real world consequences. 60 year old Yuri Deshekin is an example of these consequences. Yuri was a regular on the now deleted YouTube channel, First Step to YouTube, a channel known for targeting the homeless or alcohol addicted and offering them money to perform stunts. In early January of last year, Yuri was seated in front of a camera and broadcasted to 150 live viewers. Spurred on by viewer donations, Yuri drank one and a half liters of vodka and later collapsed on stream. You've probably already noticed the identical backgrounds between Yuri and this man. A story I found on Valentin Ganachev was even more saddening. Lentian originally got his start in a group stream consisting of homeless and alcoholic people. Eventually this group would disband, and Valentian would begin collaborating with other trash streamers. This choice would see Valentian become the victim of intense physical humiliation. He's been beaten, pelted with eggs, slime and feathered, and even buried alive on stream. During these streams, it's not uncommon for Valentian to cry and plead for help often saying his documents have been taken from him. Concerned viewers did report this to police, but when they visited the residence of these streamers, Valentian would tell police he was there of his own free will. It is reported that Valentian may have some mental health issues, which may be the reason he is easily taken advantage of by the streamers. But while the vulnerable are gathered and humiliated for money, a place to stay, or alcohol, others partake in more fatal actions. 30-year-old Russian YouTuber Staz Rifle made a career out of getting drunk and abusing his girlfriend Valentina in front of his viewers. On one stream, the 30-year-old pepper sprayed Valentina before returning to his seat in front of his camera with his friends. While his girlfriend screamed and writhed in pain, Staz sat emotionless and sipped his drink before standing up to pepper spray her again. There are many more examples of the abuse Valentina received during his streams, including having a plate full of food smashed over her head by another woman. This continued abuse at the hands of Staz and ultimately his viewers would see Staz murder Valentina after a thousand dollar donation. It's reported this request is what enticed him to push his then pregnant girlfriend out onto the balcony in only her underwear. Due to the sub-zero Russian temperatures, Valentina is thought to have succumbed to hypothermia. And even after dragging her back into the apartment, he continued to stream. In the footage, it's reported he carried her inside and attempted to revive her, saying, Valya, are you alive? My bunny, what's up with you? Valya, Valya, damn, you look like you're dead. Bunny, come on, tell me something. I'm worrying. Damn, I can't feel her heartbeat. Turning to the camera, he speaks to his viewers, saying, Guys... No pulse. She's pale. She is not breathing. Despite this, he continued broadcasting to his viewers even after calling for an ambulance. For this crime, Staz was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, but only received six years in jail. The sickening rise of trash streaming has been noticed by Russian authorities who have tried to stamp it out. However, if these acts are voluntary, it appears there isn't much they can do with the current legislation. Platforms such as YouTube often delete these channels, but a quick search will show you many more exist on the platform. And even if you were to delete these channels, videos such as this one are just re-uploaded by other users, and it becomes an endless game of whack-a-mole. One channel is taken down, three more pop up, one participant dies, 
three more vulnerable and desperate people are found to replace them. It would seem at this time, trash streamers aren't going anywhere.